When you get up there, put that club down as close as you can. This is how George Dill has been spending his days for the past 25 years. All right. Volunteering his time, teaching golf to young people here at historic Langston Golf Course in Northeast D.C. That was a good roll. Coach George started first tee in 1999 as a way to bring golf to inner city kids. Since then, it's grown to first tee of greater Washington, D.C., which has served tens of thousands of young people over the decades in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. It's a good program. It gives the kids something to do, something to look forward to, where they can come and release their energies. You go and play any hole you want to play. Coach George has help from other volunteers, like his longtime friend, John Garner, who joined First Tee 24 years ago. Garner explains they're teaching more than just golf. Beyond golf, it's, it's a combination of sportsmanship, it's do the right thing when nobody's looking. You know, when you're playing golf, you're supposed to follow the rules, whether or not you're hitting the ball from the lie wherever it is. So you learn those life lessons that sort of transfer over to, to, to everything else you do. You play basketball? Coach George grew up in D.C. playing basketball, winning three city championships for Armstrong High, including being on D.C.'s first integrated high school team. Good luck. Lessons he learned in his youth he brings to today's youth. It's kids uh, playing together. That's, that's the main thing, regardless of your color. Both then and now. Then and now, right. Dill retired from DC Parks and Rec after 32 years. How are you going to play this shot? Right to left? Now, at 87 years old, he still has a lot of golf and lessons left in him. <sighs> Golf is a lifetime activity. You can play golf and be 100 years old. If I'm 100, I'm going to do my best to play, even if I hit the ball 20 yards, as long as I can hit the ball. Put your right hand on. He's incredibly patient. He moves a little slower than he used to. Good putt. But he still has that desire to, to teach. Back and through. He's just an incredible person. He's, uh, he's very religious. He still goes to Southern Baptist Church on New Jersey. And he's, a, he's the head deacon there. He's that kind of guy. He's the kind of guy you want to know. I asked Dill what he's learned from his years of coaching these kids. What I learned from the kids, how to stay young. And as for why he keeps coaching? Those kids. At Langston Golf Course with a true community hero. First team! Mark Seagraves. News for and what they learned from him. Uh, Nothing stopping him. I was going to say it's more yeah. than golf. I mean, you it's know, just it about really life. Is. Coach George, what an inspiration! A game for life. Mm -hmm. He's sharing it with them.